I'm back from a one week vacation from the west coast of Canada. A nice family vacation, lots of poking around little beaches and just enjoying time together. But I also got time to paint. Plain air, on location, and it was awesome. Before the trip, I was binging videos on what people took with them on vacation in terms of art supplies. Maybe I'm nosy, but I just like that. So I thought I would make my own video on that topic. What I took, what I used, what you see in this video is basically what I used the entire time, but I took way more. Um, so hello, welcome, welcome back maybe even. My name's Lauren. I am a beginning artist, beginning watercolorist, sort of late in the game to this whole art world, but loving every minute of it. I plan on making videos of things that I've either synthesized, many voices, those of experts, those of other beginners, down to something that works really well for me, as well as making the kinds of videos that I like to consume. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, consider subscribing. Let's start opening up these packages. So as I said, I brought way more, way more than I should have. It was mistakes were made but luckily it's still not really that much this <laughs> this is everything that I brought and these pieces do fit in here but mostly I just used what was in here so let's talk about what I did use first of all so this was sort of my daily carry this is what came with me everywhere I was in my bag it traveled around the island with me. So the vacation that I went on was to the west coast of Canada, to a place called Vancouver Island, and I was on an even smaller island next to that called Protection Island. So lots of nice downtime to sketch and paint and just enjoy the weather. Oops, I should have, I didn't put this over here. This was with me as well. So while I was walking around the island and just enjoying the views, taking things in. This is what I was carrying. Either in my bag or even just on me. I would put these in my pockets or even just take a paintbrush out of here and have that in my pocket and be carrying this. So what's in here? This is a watercolor palette where it was my first attempt at taking tube watercolor paint and putting it in. I've used stuff. It's the cerulean blue is going fast. I thought when I first put it in that I would not be using it, but it turns out it's a hot color. Um, so some that I am using more than others I'm finding, but I put together this palette from some tube paint that I had, as well as I cannibalized a few already sort of made half pans from a Munio palette. And the color selection in this worked great. I, I had a lemon yellow instead of this darker and I, found the darker works much better. Um, I go through all of the paint that is in here um, in other videos on my channel if you are interested in seeing what the colors I took were. In this bag are the pieces for my palette. So we'll just we'll talk about those when we get there. But I have a watercolor brush set. It comes with a bag, but I found if it was in this bag, or I would have a, one or two of these brushes in my pocket. So they sort of stopped going back into the fancy pouch that they came with. How these brushes work is they screw open and screw on like this. So you have a full size brush, very well secured. I like that it screws. It doesn't just um, cap on the end. So there's sort of a small, medium, and large, and these worked wonderfully. Um, I took a pencil. I didn't actually use a pencil as much as I often do. I think I was on a tight timeline with a lot of these and putting down a pencil sketch before painting. Sometimes it was just more time than I actually had. Um, I didn't bring the eraser a lot. Truthfully, what would be in my pocket most of the time was this medium-sized brush in this pencil, and then these things would just be attached. Uh, this is nice, where you have some extra space to bring it, a mini mister, just to reactivate the paints before you start painting, but not, not absolutely 
necessary. So I brought a Ziploc that's been used a million times <laughs> for some just toilet roll. And I found while I was painting what I would do before I left on my adventure, I'd take a few pieces of this. This is a paper towel that's been here for a long time. I just use for cleaning my brush. But what I would do is on the back side, there is nothing here. So this is where I would keep my clean toilet roll to do things like clouds or if I needed clean toilet roll while I was out there. And then I just kept using this one over and over again for removing paint. This is how I have water in my setup. If I'm not somewhere that I am sitting and have, and have a bigger, bigger water. This is something that they use in oil painting to hold like varnishes or something. I don't know what's going on in that mystical world, but it has lids that uh, have this rubber inside or plastic. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but they do seal up. Found a problem though. Often <laughs> I use this setup about, I don't know, six times before I went and I found that while I was on vacation, I just maybe wasn't sealing them as well or now that they've been used a bit, they did leak a little bit. So in my bag, I have been putting it in some plastic just so that it doesn't uh, leak all over my bag. Luckily, it only leaked a little bit the first time and now I don't trust it anymore. So this would be how I would be painting. I took multiple papers but the paper that I was using the most was by SMLT Authentic Spiral Watercolor Pad. This is a fairly inexpensive sketchbook compared to other brands. And the paper is really lovely. It takes watercolor really nicely. Um, because it's coiled, you can fold it over really easy. And then I would just clip it on this and I'd be painting. So this is all I really would need. Before I went, I got a slightly larger carrying case just because things weren't fitting nicely. And I like to have pouches within pouches and everything just sort of contained. So within here, I did keep this pouch and the watercolor palette. But once I got there, these sort of just sat there for the rest of the time is a roll for brushes. Oh, I guess this is the one other piece that I used. This is a Noodler's Ink pen, which I had filled with black ink that is waterproof. So in some of my sketches, I did outlines in ink until this ran out. <laughs> so, but I will be refilling it and using it again soon. This is a Lamy Safari. Apparently it's an all-star, according to someone on my last video, which I think it is because it's metal. Um, it's filled with water-soluble ink. I didn't actually use it on this trip, but I always do like to have it for sketching or writing things. I brought a Pentel water brush. Didn't use it. It can be really nice, and I know a lot of people who love them, but those travel brushes work really great for my purposes. Not good enough yet to wield this properly. I seem to have too much or too little water all the time. I brought two different brushes for other effects when I'd be sitting on the porch at night painting things. I brought this fan brush to do some grasses. I only ended up using it once. And I brought this, it says Princeton Art Brush Co. Wash Brush 3 quarter inch to make shimmering water, sit shimmering ocean water but I, I couldn't make it work this time. At home, I could make this work really well, but I couldn't make it work on the trip. I brought a couple watercolor pencils because I've seen a lot of people who sketch with these first and then fill it in, never got around to trying that. I brought a jelly roll by Sakura. Thinking I was going to use it, I did not end up using it. That often happens, I think. Think I'll use it and then I didn't. I brought a couple microns, I uh, 05 and a 005. 
often I'll use these but on the, this trip because I was using this Noodler's Ink pen these didn't really see any action this time and this is a little roll that I got off Amazon because I didn't know how I was going to transport these other brushes safely and I don't have a lot of those kind of things because I'm fairly new to this art game all right so in this case I brought a second sketchbook that did not get used I was excited about using it but it never seemed to happen often I'll carry a smaller one like this in my side bag but I found it was really easy just to bring my whole setup when we were going walking so I didn't need a smaller size in here I brought some Faber-Castell pencils of different hardnesses something that I'm new to and have recently purchased and haven't really quite figured out I understand that the B sort of means softer and the H means harder uh, not quite into that yet so those didn't see any action when I do use my smaller sketchbook I will often use markers these are the only sort of fancier markers that I have so these Faber-Castell brush pens often they'll see action in the smaller notebook but didn't this time an extra binder clip a fancy little sharpener I have a set of these paper castell microns they're not microns I guess fine liners in 07 brush 05 and 03 these didn't get used either again new to the sketching and pencil game still haven't tried this um, another micron because you can never have too many another pencil just for this kit and this pen that I didn't actually know came with me and seems to have leaked everywhere we're gonna have to clean that up after we're done here got lucky that it stayed inside this didn't get used but it will this will go back into my this is sort of my everyday carry I'm planning on adding a very small watercolor palette to this that I'm going to make. Stay tuned for that if you're interested. And then this is just the crap at the bottom. On my board, I did have, originally I had these magnetic strips and I just found they weren't strong enough to hold my watercolor palette. So these clips, these magnets work way better. So. I finally pulled these off and these can now go in the garbage more binder clips because you're always worried you might need more binder clips some washi tape because you never know you might need some washi tape this is the container for the paint brushes and how they came so the three of the paint brushes have been living in here but now they were pretty loose they'll probably go back in here now that I'm at home and just not grabbing my stuff and going quite as often more garbage some markers of my children these are um, crayons they are the type 2 meaning that they are water soluble the neo color 2 and this is a set of 15 these are fairly new as well and I had been enjoying sketching with them in the evening in front of like the TV but they didn't see any action on my trip another ruler and a card just to scrape paint around which also didn't get used so this is basically a big container of stuff that I didn't use so at the dollar store I found a better way to protect my papers and this board so this board fits perfectly in this sort of folder with a zipper. I think it's for money, <laughs> for businesses, or something like that. I think it's for maybe paper even. And then I had my paper and my sketchbook. This is how these traveled. For the longer legs of my journey in my bag just kept things a little bit safer from 
anything spilling and anything just rubbing against it repeatedly as bags were put on and off airplanes and things like that so i did really enjoy that those are all the art supplies i brought for this trip maybe see you again sometime bye